we want to show that we're going up or do we want to make it look so low? I don't know. Uh, no, I think that we show that we're going up. I think it's going to be hard not to be a part of this story. Okay. I like it. I like starting from a blank piece of paper and then you got something. Yeah. Yeah. sitting in a 1962 Piper Cherokee. It's a Vietnam era aircraft uh, designed for four people, maybe uh, two and a half uh, 2019 size people, <laughs> if you know what I mean. What's your day job and what's your hobby? My day job, I would say, is a songwriter, uh, engineer, piano player, music producer. I, uh, I've been working for Hall & Oates for 20 years as a co-producer with Daryl Hall on their records. Hunter, I've known Greg a little while. I talked to him a few weeks ago at church after the service, and he says, hey, Skip, you ought to come up with your cameras and uh, shoot some footage in my plane. I'm sorry, you're what? You buy used planes and fix them up? I mean... Yeah, that's what this, this latest venture is. And I find them in one area, kind of fix them up, uh, and then uh, sell them. I love to have something that doesn't work and then to tinker around with it and it starts to work. It's just it's so gratifying, whether it's something electronic or something on an airplane or in the studio, whatever it is. It's just, you feel, you just feel satisfied. When they were designing this, they didn't have computers, they had slide rules. So uh, they were innovators and, and today, it's what, 2019, this is a wonderful sounding piece of equipment, you know, 70 years later. Clear prop. Runway 20 is the calm wind runway. Calm winds are three knots or less. Well, I think one of my favorite things to do, I've been playing at uh, St. Augustine's you know, the, the pipe organ there for maybe three years now, four years. One of my favorite things to do is just to show up and take a look at who's sitting there today and where they're sitting and their faces. And then I say a little prayer and I say, God, please write this for me. And then I sit down at the organ and just play something. And I don't know what it's gonna be. A lot of times I'll just start with one note and see where that leads me harmonically and melodically. And uh, I'll do the same thing when I fly sometimes. Let's see here, do you guys wanna fly over downtown or fly to Springfield or? Let's do downtown. Downtown, all right. So back in the day when you'd fly in an airline, there used to be a channel on your radio <clears throat> where you'd push a button and you can hear them talking to the towers. And I, I don't know if you remember, but on a long flight, you, you could hear the air traffic controller. And so I would push that little button and everyone else would be listening to Disney or country, whatever. I just wanted to hear what they were saying. John C. Tan traffic, 6486 Whiskey on the ground, taxi to the uh, flight line. I think that we weren't designed to be up there. There's nothing about the human body or brain that is designed to be at altitude. I think that natural curiosity is built into all of us. You know, when you ask kids what they dream about, you know, they want to fly, you know, Superman. You're much more connected to what's going on in a small plane than you are in an airliner. I mean, when you're in a small plane, you're watching the pilot maneuver and you're, you're seeing from the front. You know, when you're sitting in an airline, you don't know what's happening. It's just a dream, I think, that people have because we weren't designed to be there. 